Well, hello. Now I'm actually cheating just a little bit. I'm using Camtasia to record how to use Windows Media Encoder. This is solving a raft of problems for me because it's rather sticky using Windows Media Encoder to record what I'm doing with Windows Media Encoder. Anyway, I downloaded it as I showed you in the prior video. This is the icon for it. I'm going to open this up. It starts up and it lets me choose what I want to do. I'm going to say capture the screen, which means capture the screen and the, the audio. And here I'm going to take the entire screen. I could choose a region or a specific window, but in this case I'm choosing the entire screen. You must click this little box every time if you want to capture audio also. I'm doing this on an Acer laptop and it has a built-in microphone and that's what's actually capturing the audio both this time in Camtasia and previously and in the other recordings I'll do using Windows Media Encoder. So I'm going to click Next. I have to determine a, a file name here and I'm just going to entitle this uh, the number two in the series and it's to capture the screen. Okay, So that's going to be the name of the file that I wind up creating with this if I use Windows Media Encoder to do this. Click Next. I now get a chance to choose which resolution. I would suggest High because you want this as clear as possible. It still won't be as clear as Camtasia. Click Next. You could put all this information in if you want to, but you don't have to. If you click Next, you get to review this stuff. And then you click Finish. It doesn't finish it. It's actually, as soon as this screen comes up, you click this OK, everything on the screen now will disappear, and then I can begin recording whatever I want to on the screen. So I'm going to click the OK, and here oh, oh, looks like something will be overwritten. Well, that's OK. So now everything I'm recording on the screen is actually being recorded by Windows Media Encoder, and that includes my voice and Anything I click here, anything I bring up on the screen, it all works just fine. When you want to end the recording of this uh, by way of Windows Media Encoder, you click on its button here in the menu bar, and it restores itself, but it's still rec recording. Actually, it isn't recording, but it isn't going to do anything for you until you click the Stop button. Click the Stop, and your file has already been saved. If you want to close, you can close. If you want to play the output file using a Windows Media Player, you can click this one right here. Well, I'm just going to close this at the moment. Now I can close out of this. The session it's talking about is the actions I've taken to actually create this. The file has been created. The session, if you wanted to save it, would record the keystrokes and actions and choices I made to produce this video in addition to this file. But the file is already there. If you don't save the session, it's not a big deal. 